number two in the Marvel 85 year celebration and also coinciding with his own anniversary of 50 years, we have the astonishing Wolverine. What is up, my peeps? It's the Ruckus Hummer coming at you. We have got you see it in front of you. Celebrating 85 years, we have Wolverine in his astonishing costume. And uh, coincidentally, it also happens to be the 50th anniversary for Logan. So it all works out. You see our packaging. You see uh, the new style of packaging we've got. This is kind of sort of universal and generic for all brands. They will uh, customize slash personalize it in some form or fashion to their individual line. But this is essentially what the packaging for all things Hasbro looks like. You got the uh, 85 year uh, logo there at the top. You got some artwork of Logan there on the side. And then on the rear, we've got some more artwork. This was taken from uh, one of the issues during that Astonishing X-Men run. Looking pretty nice. And uh, of course, we've got the logo there on the side. And turning it back to the front, you see the clamshell with all of the accessories. And speaking of that clamshell, here it is out of the packaging. With the figure removed, you see the uh, two sets of hands. we got a pair of fists with no claws. We have an open splayed hand and a pointer, left-handed pointer, right-handed splayed. And, of course, we have another head sculpt of uh, Wolverine mast and uh, grinning his teeth. And now for the man himself, we've got James Logan Howard, a.k.a. Wolverine. Astonishing style. He's wearing his astonishing costume. Now, there have been a couple iterations of the uh, astonishing costume, and uh, Hasbro has uh, decided to go with this one. As far as the figure itself, we have, uh, now we've got a million Wolverines, and when we first got the uh, mustard brown Wolverine in that, I believe it was the Juggernaut Wave, and uh, we had finally gotten a Wolverine that was size appropriate, uh, both vertically and horizontally, meaning he was short and stocky. Um, we were all, we, I mean, we were, we, we just shot the moon. And then, of course, we started getting, uh, we do once that happened, we were in it to win it because they started piling out Wolverines hand over fist. Right. All, of course, all based on that same body mold. Uh, what we have here is essentially, for the most part, a new body mold. We've got uh, new upper torso there. And uh, when I turn to the side, you can see we have uh, pinless elbows, pinless knees. We didn't have that the first go around. And of course, all the subsequent rounds that uh, we ended up getting uh, Logan with. We also, um, to show the close-up of the uh, claws, let me uh, turn his right, his right arm up a little bit so we can get a better peering of those claws, and then I'll turn it that way. You can see we don't have those old flimsy-style claws. They're still plasticky looking, but they're more durable, and they will line up better, as you can see right there. Uh, we have... Uh, this is the second uh, set of uh, different style claws than we had gotten before. I'll show what the uh, previous set that we got. We, we had gotten a set. They had changed up the claws when we had got an, uh, uh, an X-Force version of Wolverine. And they made the claws a little bit uh, uh, more um, blade-like than claw-like. And uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about with the uh, comparison uh, figure that I brought out for it So yeah, that's a definite uh, change. We've got uh, The uh, hair on his arms Sculpted and painted believe it or not. So that's pretty cool both sides. We got going on there. He came out of packaging with a uh, maskless head sculpt uh, we did not get a downed cowl with this so he's just you know maskless like that would be nice if we had gotten a cow that you could put around his neck 
like he uh, you know he just took he just you know flapped his mask off but you see what we got here it's basically um yellow with blue and you've got the uh the slits the yellow slits there uh mine's is not the greatest because you could tell that this is essentially blue with yellow because i've got blue trying to bleed through up there unfortunate that when you know when it happens like that so it goes on when you have one coat of paint i'm looking at the chest and even though it's covered up i can when i really squint i can see blue trying to uh eke past the yellow but other than that it's still pretty nice there you know you got uh on the uh the gloves we've got uh the yellow patches there and i've got a um blue scrape there once again this is blue with yellow painted on it it's never good when it's a dark color and then you try to paint a light color over it my other side has got uh, basically very slightly the same thing on that upper yellow patch but nothing for me to you know go into a frenzy over the X label is good black X with the red uh, background and uh, we've got the uh, silver clasps for that buckle the belt itself is black pretty nice the boots we've got the uh, the yellow patches my patches seem to be good on both front and back and speaking of the back this is what the rear looks like so everything is you know pretty consistent so that's uh, that's basically um, how it is in terms of the uh, articulation once again this is a uh, new style um, buck for Wolverine his head is on a uh, the dumbbell and we're running into that problem of you're not going to be able to look up that much you can look down pretty decently you get some nice tilt and of course you can rotate it you can T-pose, the shoulder pads are connected, as you can see, uh, they're connected to the shoulder, so that way when you rotate it 360, you won't get anything binding up. You have a butterfly joint, so let's see how far he could rear. If I get this other arm up and get it to rear back, he rears back pretty nicely. Clasping is uh, another story. You can class pretty well, but, you know, that's really all you're going to get with that. He's got the bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows. I already said that they were pinless. Uh, the rotating wrists and the horizontal hinge on uh, both sides there. As far as his torso is concerned, he's got a diaphragm that allows him to go forward a little bit and a back a little bit more. He can go side to side with it, and of course he can rotate. He does have an inverted crunch, so that way you can get even more. You can bend that far forward, that far back. So that's definitely the newness of Wolverine. In terms of his hips, we can Van Damme it. I love that. I love that. People forget that uh, because he's such a bruiser, Wolverine has some um, agility too. It isn't always made manifest because with that adamantium he's filled with, uh, he's 300 pounds, you know, and he's got to work that. So he can lift his leg up nearly 90 and go back that far. He's got the thigh cut, the double jointed knees. Obviously, they're pinless, as I stated earlier. Uh, curiously enough, there is no boot swivel there where the boot meets the leg. He can't point his toe that far forward, that far up. He has ankle pivot, and of course, it wouldn't be Marvel Legends if it wasn't holes. Peggles at the bottom of his feet. And now I have our astonishing Wolverine side by side with what we now have to call the old school Wolverine buck. That's just crazy. Um, in the form of the uh, Hot Claws Wolverine. You'll also notice there are uh, some so, you know, not, you know, of course, the, the yellows and the blues are different colors, but costume design has some slight, a very slight similarities, but you could see the inspiration. And of course, there are some things that are eternal, like the kind of boots that Wolvie wears. Um, but uh, you can see from the differences with the Bucks that uh, there are um, our new guy here. 
is a little bit taller. Not crazy, so that's cool. He'll still come up shorter uh, against other uh, six, uh, six inch scale characters, but he is taller than the old uh, style Wolverine book, just slightly. As you could just look at the tops of their head, their heads there. Um, and uh, what I wanted to also show was the difference. This was the when we had gotten new claws for Wolverine. It was basically these kind right here. These heat claws are the same claws that we got on the uh, the X Force Wolverine. And you see how uh, blade like they are. They're fat. They come out. Uh, they come out uh, somewhat narrow, and then they get fatter, and then they, they don't even curve. They just angle into the, the claw part. So, um, And that was the first time we got a different style of uh, claw for Wolverine. And now here's our first issue of Astonishing Wolverine. This was from the, uh, the Toy Biz days. Uh, you see how much shorter this one was. It, it was wild because when they came out with this, they uh, made sure that they kept Wolverine short, small, but that's the problem. He was short and small. See, this was very uh, puny as far as our visual of Wolverine goes. But um, yeah, this was the first iteration of the astonishing Wolverine that we were given by uh, Marvel Legends. Here we have the beginnings of our modern uh, upgrades for our Astonishing X-Men team. From the uh, recent Chode wave, we have Astonishing Cyclops on our left, and we have Astonishing Emma Frost, aka the White Green, on our right. And you know we had to get this scene if it were possible. And it is possible in this instance. This is from the uh, classic Mar Marvel Knights uh storyline uh, of uh, books. This was Astonishing X-Men, the name of the story. The book was called Gifted. Uh, Astonishing X-Men Gifted, and uh, this was the cover. And uh, you see we've got Kitty Pride back there. That was from the Juggernaut Wave. And then you see uh, something that is uh, unusual in these parts. We have got from the dark days of Marvel Legends, we've got the Beast in his cat-like form, uh, part of the uh, Astonishing X-Men team. And because we went on and got uh, Cyclops and Emma in the same wave last year, the Chode wave, uh, they're both of the uh, Astonishing variety. I have no doubt in my mind that we will get a Cat Beast. Um, as far as Kitty, it would be good if we get, because the Kitty we have here isn't really uh, accurate to that costume, but it's close enough for this particular end shot. Um, I do believe we're going to get a cat beast, though, for sure. And uh, hopefully we'll get a kitty in the right costume. But if not, we can flub it with uh, the Juggernaut Wave kitty that we have here. This is uh, going to be my, uh, my outro shot, for sure, because it is an iconic shot. And... Uh, you know, quite frankly, it took me a while to get uh, both Emma and the Beast to stand in the, uh, walking poses, uh, per se. Emma, of course, with those uh, heels and the Beast because he has no swiveling going on below the knees at all. Ankles, nothing. But um, still had to try to get this shot as best I could. And I went on and did that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about... Uh, the 85th anniversary slash 50th year anniversary for Wolverine himself of uh, the Marvel Legends Astonishing Wolverine. This was uh, number two for uh, for me in terms of uh, what I've acquired and what I've reviewed. We've got a few to go. Um, I don't have those as yet, but as I get them in, I will uh, bring them and uh, present them to you. And uh, let you guys make up your mind on whether or not you want to uh, deep dive into that line. Anyway, leave your comments below on um, what you think about uh, Wolverine, what you think about the 85th anniversary line in general. And uh, that's how it'll get done.